Hey, my name is Steve, and welcome to my monetization journey. It's been an exciting week, but before we get to that, did you know that every minute 500 hours of footage are up, is uploaded to YouTube? So I just want to take this moment to thank you for tuning in to my channel and my video. Well, as you can probably hear, this is not a voiceover. I am lucky enough to have a new lavalier microphone. It's actually doing pretty well. And I have one of you to thank for it. I mentioned in my previous video that uh, I was struggling with the audio and I was looking into purchasing one of these. So I was happily surprised when Amazon dropped one of these on my porch. So thank you again and I truly, truly appreciate it. All right, well, let's get to it. Unlocked. It has definitely been an exciting week. Not all good, but not all bad either. Where to start first? Uh, in the last video, I did mention that my internet was out. And it turns out that my Orbi, my brand new router that I had purchased last year, had died. But luckily the uh, fellow, the technician that came out to fix it, had a unit on his truck that he was able to graciously give us for free. So he was able to get us up and running fairly quickly. And thankfully now I have internet. Some other things that happened this week. I started breaking down in bulk some maple walnut and cherry wood for some cutting boards because I am going to be going to a craft show in mid-November and I wanted to bring some cutting boards and some other items. However, maybe 90% of the way my table saw stopped. The motor didn't stop but the blade stopped so that was a little nerve-wracking and I thought I burned out the saw. But luckily the next day I was able to get under the saw and I noticed that it was just a belt. So I was fortunate enough to be able to just replace that with a $20 belt. Hopefully I'll get that in the next couple of days. And now I have the opportunity to show you how to replace a dry belt on a Ryuobi table saw. You have to try to change or reframe your thinking a little bit and take the negative things that happen and try to turn them I don't want to say be optimistic instead of pessimistic, but try to look for opportunities. With all of that going on, uh, let's get to the numbers because that is actually a little bit exciting to, to share with you guys. All right, so another week down and time to get to the numbers. So let's get straight to the spreadsheet. Last week, I was at 500 and 63 subscribers. This week I am at 578 as the time of this recording. Uh, last week I had 1,752 views, this week 2,511. So we were seeing an upswing there, which is nice. Uh, watch hours for the week. Now this is for videos only, not shorts. 38.8 for the week, again up on the nose numbers. Totals for 365. I'm looking at 2,497, so very close to 500 watch hours, which is really great because then I'm only 500 away from the first monetization tier. And if you don't know, there are two different tiers for monetization on YouTube. The first is 500 subscribers with 3,000 watch hours on videos. And the second tier, which everybody shoots for, is 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Now it does take into account this, the hours watched needs to be hit and maintained within 365 days. So if I had a very big video that got 45 hours of views on 9.10 of last year, it drops off, doesn't count. So you have to maintain that also, not just something that you wanna hit and then you're good, you wanna hit and then continue to grow upon that. And that's what YouTube wants to encourage you to do is grow and move forward. So my first tier monetization, I've already hit the subscriber amount. I have not, I keep inching up week by week on 
the hours, so I will hopefully catch it soon. If you want to help me out, feel free after you're done watching this video, go watch some other videos on my channel, and that will definitely increase my watch hours. Let's go into the YouTube studio, though, and take a look here. All right, so in the dashboard, what we're looking at, what I'm excited about, is not this last short, which has been getting a very good average uh, percentage viewed, but the shorts, like I said, they're, they're not really counting right now. They're just really helping me to gain subscribers. What I'm looking at is this video here, this DIY uh, palette picture frame. So when I posted this, I try to post project videos on Mondays and then these videos on Fridays. So when I posted this video, it was right after I had posted a video like this, which I categorize as blog and people. So it's more like an interview kind of dialogue. Uh, and then all my other content tries to go under how to, like DIY. I had this video miscategorized and it sh clearly shows that in the analytics. And I did not realize until yesterday afternoon around one o'clock. So after I revised that around one o'clock, you can see it just curves up. So it got a substantial amount of views. Uh, I was a little discouraged because when I first put it up, you could see the impressions here. They, I mean, they read, they pushed this out to like 6,000 people and it had a impression click through rate of like 0.1. I was like, my goodness, content can't be that bad. But as soon as I corrected the uh, categorization of it into the how to section, it must have started pushing it to more people that were geared toward the content that I was putting out. Uh, and now it's jumped to 2.6. So I'm sure if I had this correct, it would be much higher right now, but I'm still, it's still curving up. So we'll see what it does in like a week or two and see if it continues. Um, but you can look at the overview even. I mean, I've gained seven subscribers off a video that's been out there for four or five days. I did sign up for a craft show. Let's see. Let's update these revenue stats. So this is September 5th to September 11th. No, 12th. Sorry. Uh, YouTube still not monetized, so I earned zero from YouTube. Etsy, unfortunately, I have no Etsy sales this week. I've got no website sales and no Colts 3D and no Amazon affiliates. However, I think I need to add a new tab in here that says expense. Uh, and this week I have an expense of negative $50 because I did have to um, pay for the craft show, which I will be doing in two months. What is it? September? Yep, two months. I have two months to make products, price products. Hopefully people come out. I have to figure out how I'm going to take payment. I signed up for Square. had it years ago. I haven't had it since, so I'll sign up for that. Um, I've got a few cutting boards prepped. I've got a few uh, serving trays prepped. Uh, I've got a few ornaments prepped, but I do want to start designing some ornaments. So I'm excited about that, and I will hopefully be able to do a little video about how to design in Canva and use Lightburn to design Christmas ornaments. Hopefully that video will take off and yeah. So we got some exciting things moving forward and numbers are going the way we want. Well, that's what's happening with me. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, please subscribe, watch some more videos. And until next time, I'm Steve and I will put some videos up here and here. So you'll be able to watch either building videos or monetization journeys or